Hey, it's me. I'm at home. It's my day off again. And I'm having my lunch. I've got cheese, ham, mustard and mayonnaise sandwiches. And I've got a Coke. And I'm watching Viva La Bam Season 5. And I think it's really weird. Whenever I pour a drink or something and it's the end of the bottle, it always just fits in the glass. Like that. I, I've already drunk some from that. But it was like a perfect fit. And I just can't understand how I do it every single time. It's really, like, creepy. Um, and I'm just editing some more videos. The internet's gone down. And so I'm just trying to compress all the, uh, all the old videos. They're not old, the ones that I haven't uploaded yet. Will have uploaded by now. Talk to you later. Hey, it's me. Um, I'm just having my dinner. I couldn't think of what to have for dinner. And my dad's got this thing where he eats uh, vegetables, only raw vegetables, with dips. Like, I've got some guacamole, tamar salata, and some parmesan and basil dip. He usually has hummus, satsiki, and tamar salata, though. Um, but I don't really like hummus, and we don't have any satsiki that I know of. This is a diet that he's on and um, Shay Carl went on it a couple of years ago, well actually I think it was last year. I'll put a link to that video where he talks about that down there and I couldn't think of anything to have for dinner so I'm going to have it. He usually has carrots, uh, cucumbers, spring onions, celery, uh, broccoli, cauliflower in these dips. I don't really like all of that raw. Um, I don't really like celery that much anyway. But all we've got that that I like is carrots. We had an onion, um, which I, I went in the drawer. We've got a vegetable drawer down here, underneath the island, and we keep all our vegetables in there. And I'll show you an onion that I just found in there whilst looking for some more carrots. That is the onion that I found. It's, it must have been in there for like two weeks or something. It's really soft and it's got really long shoots coming off it. Now working in fruit and veg, I know you can't eat, one, you can't eat a soft onion and two, you can't really eat anything that's still growing um, because it, it's not good for you. Um, so, and my dad said that he would still eat it without having him actually looked at it. So, and he loves bets. So I said, I'll bet you £20 that you would not eat this whole onion. And then he looked at it and he thought, actually, maybe not. Because he knows not to lose £20. That's a stupid bet. So we're chucking that away. Not chucking away, putting it in the compost. My mum has built this new compost thing by, she's got a greenhouse. And she's built a new... A compost bin type thing. All it is is four pieces of wood making some walls to enclose some compost in. And so I'll chuck that in the compost. I also found a growing potato. We've got a whole bag of them. But anyway, back to the carrots. I've, I had this a couple of times, um, I usually just eat a raw carrot, but as I say, we've got dips. I don't think this guacamole is uh, quite right though, we've, it's been in the fridge for a while I think. At our house, everything sits in the fridge for a while. I've once eaten, my dad eats stuff that's long out of date. The oldest thing I've ever eaten was... We had our dining room converted, well, our garage converted into a dining room in 2009, I think it was, or 2008. And when we were clearing it out, there was loads of junk in there. There was, we found a box of Quality Streets from 1998 or 1999. Um, that's when they went out of date. Um, that we obviously got for Christmas one year and we just put in there to keep them cold because it was very cold in the garage 
And so I decided to eat them. And they were lovely. There was nothing wrong with them. Because um, they were all sealed up. So none of the air had got to them. So they were fine. Um, but yeah, as I say, things stay in, in this house for a while. Right, so. Chop off the ends. Discard them. And my dad likes to use peeler. But I don't see the point in them. Just use a knife. Does the same thing. Just get all the skin off. You've seen me do this before at work when I just eat a carrot. I suppose this way you do get rid of a lot of the actual carrot, whereas with the peeler, it just takes off the layer of skin. Um, but I like my way. It's more fun. I used to just sit at school. The, the way that I learned how to peel fruit and veg, and, uh, well, veg, is I used to just sit at school with a Stanley knife, just keep on sharpening my pencil. Um, and then I used to do it with, like, kitchen knives and stuff. Um, when I was bored, and I used to like sharpen sticks with a pen knife. I was a, I was a problem child, <laughs> not a problem child. I was I was a bit mischievous. I used to make um, flaming batons. Right, I'd get a stick, and then wrap some uh, like old costumes or something from when I was younger that I don't use anymore um, around the top. Soak it in nail varnish remover, and then light it. Uh, I did that one Halloween um, when it was 2003, and um, I think I was I was something like 14 back then, um, or 13. And one of my neighbours saw me running around with this flaming stick, and so they told my parents, and I got grounded for a week. I've only ever been grounded for a week at a time. My mum used to say, um, like I broke our playroom window, I chucked a golf club through the middle window, because my sisters wouldn't let me in. That, that shows you, don't mess with me. I'll throw a golf, golf club through your window. <laughs> um, yeah, my mum said that I was grounded for two weeks, but she only grounded me for one. So, what can I say? That's all shredded. Chop it up into battens. I like the word battens today. I don't know why. I should actually be watching. I, you can't see my face, but I'm not. I'm looking elsewhere while I'm cutting these, which isn't safe for anybody who uh, wants to do this. It's a very good um, diet, by the way. My dad's lost quite a bit of weight doing it, um, and he. He eats a normal breakfast, actually. Yeah, I think he, he I think he has a bowl of cereal at breakfast. Um, and then he has a normal lunch, or actually he usually has quite a big lunch, like leftovers from the dinner before. Um, and then at dinner time, he has this. But on a Sunday, of course, we have a roast, so he, he has the roast as well. Um, not as well, but he has the roast on a Sunday. Um, so yeah, he, he sticks to it really well though. He's, the problem with most diets is people don't really um, stick to them. Like my sister, Jennifer, has gone on loads of diets. She's not fat. I don't know why she goes on these diets. She, it's just, I think it's women. <laughs> <laughs> that that is a very general assumption, but women always think that they're fat. If they are or if they aren't, they think they need to lose weight. Um, I think that's true for a lot of women. Um, and so she she went on this diet, but she didn't stick to it, so it didn't work. She's tried loads of others, but. She, she doesn't have that much self-control, so she doesn't 
she doesn't stick to these diets. So it's not very good. You need to actually stick to it if you're going to, if you want to lose weight. So let's have some tail muscle out of first. Lovely. I love tail muscle I can't remember if I told you. We used to have tail muscle sandwiches when I went to my nun's house when we were younger. And she used to cut the crusts off and feed them to the birds because we never liked crusts as kids. I'm not really that keen on crusty bread now, to be honest. But I'll still eat them because it's just a waste otherwise. And so I love Tamasalata. My favourite. You can get different types of Tamasalata. Most of it is cod row. Hey, the old flip camera ran out of battery. Why is it that these cameras keep failing on me when I need them the most? Anyway, I'm just going to have this dinner. So, oh, I nearly picked up one of the slicings. I'm just going to eat this. And so I will talk to you later.